Hello. So today, I'm here to talk about how to share your PowerPoint presentation via a link online. This is something that is incredibly useful in a number of situations. The fact is that in our ever-increasingly connected society, the times when people were willing to gather in a room to watch a presentation projected onto the wall are getting less and less frequent. That doesn't mean that PowerPoint is no longer useful, however. Far from it. In fact, the ability to broadcast presentations online makes the slideshow software more versatile and powerful than ever, and Microsoft has made a point of making this so easy that it only takes a few clicks to set up. So, from inside your presentation, come up to the Slideshow tab. Here you'll see the normal controls that you would use to start your slideshow, but what we're interested in today is this Present Online button. So let's click that you'll get a message letting you know that you need a Microsoft account to use Microsoft's broadcast service. You'll also see this important checkbox here. Check this box if you want people to be able to download your presentation. If you want them to have a copy of your slides, this is a great option to have. But just as importantly, if your presentation contains anything you don't want shared around extensively, then by leaving this unclicked, you limit their ability to download the presentation directly. Although you should remember this is still not secure, as anyone could screen capture the presentation and they just wouldn't have the actual PowerPoint files. So when you click on connect, PowerPoint will generate this link. From here, you can either copy the link to share however you want, or you can click here to email the link. Now when you click this, you'll see it'll automatically start my Outlook startup process, but you know how to send emails, so we're not going to bother walking through that now. Instead, I'm going to take this link and show you what it looks like if we view the presentation in another browser. There you have it. From here, I can view the presentation as it's being broadcast. Here's the button that I can use to download the files if that option was enabled when the owner of the presentation set up the sharing session. You can also see a few other features up here, such as shared meeting notes, which can certainly come in handy under the right circumstances. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.